Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your five and five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. A concert for recovery featuring Keith Urban is less than a month away. CTR partnered with WTNH News 8 and iHeartMedia to present the show at Mohegan Sun Arena on November 17th. The goal is to help end the stigma around opioid use disorder, which touches realtor members, their families, and every community in our state. We want you to join us as a sponsor for the event and the ongoing opioid awareness campaign. Sponsorship packages cover a wide range of amounts with varying benefits. David Galito serves on the CTR Opioid Work Group and says the involvement needs to come from the grassroots level. The whole idea of this is to, in this concert, in this awareness, is to um, break the stigma and have people come out of the shadows and say, hey, listen, I have an issue or I have a family member that has an issue. What can we do about it? And if we can do that and if we could save one life with all of this, what more can you ask for? Anyone interested in becoming a sponsor can email allison at ctrealtors.com. Sponsorship contributions are not tax deductible. A couple more local Realtors of the Year to tell you about. The Valley Association of Realtors selected Paul Jensen from Shelton as its 2019 Local Realtor of the Year. Paul is a past board president and has been involved with the board for more than 40 years. The Mid-State Association of Realtors selected Beth Smedic of Southington as its local Realtor of the Year. Beth is also a past board president and currently serves on the CTR Board of Directors. The CT Realtors Foundation annual holiday campaign is underway. Foundation trustee Marianne Hebert kicked off the fourth annual Be Homeful for the Holidays campaign during the October Board of Directors meeting. The campaign provides stuffed Paddington bears and books to children in homeless shelters during the holidays. The money raised supports programs throughout the year that help prevent families from becoming homeless. The foundation raised more than $100,000 last year. Realtor Alan Stewart with the New Haven Middlesex Young Professionals Network has a challenge for YPNs across the state, encouraging them to join a Be Homeful for the Holidays fundraising competition. I'm challenging you all again to start your own bear raiser and see how much you can contribute to this cause. Go to ctrealtors-care.org to make a donation or to learn more about holding a bear raiser. NAR's political field rep for the region recently made his first visit to Connecticut. Christian Hoysrat spoke at the New Haven Middlesex Association. He says it's important for him to visit local associations and meet with members so he can let them know what NAR is doing to benefit their membership and the industry. I feel as though, uh, you know, it's NAR's job to get out on the ground into association, um, you know, buildings and, and talking to membership directly about um, what it is that, that we're doing to make sure that the housing industry uh, remains strong. Hoysrat talked about topics including NAR's legislative priorities for 2020 and the congressional elections next year. A new federal rule increased the threshold for the requirement of an appraisal in some residential transactions. The rule increased the amount from $250,000 to $400,000. Federally related transactions less than $400,000 will require an evaluation to determine the value of the property. A federally related transaction is a non-Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac transaction and a non-federal finance transaction, such as loans under the Federal Housing Administration, the Rural Housing Service, or the Department of Veterans Affairs. For more information, go to ctrealtors.com threshold. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.